Hello and welcome into the United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Davey Siegel alongside Ryan Cole, where we just witnessed Michigan State play Duke and Kansas play Kentucky, but we weren't really here for that. But well, Michigan State-Duke, I think it was a pretty solid game. It was a close game throughout, which we both kind of figured it would be. But Duke comes out on top. Initial thoughts of the game. Yeah, I mean, Duke wins 88-81 to uh, over Michigan State. Really did live up to the billing as a number one, number oh, yeah. two matchup. Big time. Uh, just a game of runs back and forth. And, and especially in the second half, you know, Duke would go ahead by eight or nine. Michigan State claws back. So really uh, impressive showing from both of those teams, Davey. Uh, they both were ready for the big stage, and I think that it uh, it turned out to be a fun game to watch for college basketball fans. You know who else is ready for the big stage? Grayson Allen, because he dropped 37 points, seven three-pointers, seven of 11 from beyond the arc, 11 of 20 overall, 37. Not only a new Champions Classic record, but I think that he cemented himself in the National Player of the Year conversation tonight. What do you think of his performance? Well, yeah, exactly. And, and a lot of people are talking about Miles Bridges at a, as a national player of the year. But Grayson Allen said, well, not so fast there. Uh, he certainly is going to be a big factor mm -hmm. in the ACC and in all of college basketball this year. Don't forget about Grayson Allen. Now, you know what? I got to say, I mean, a lot of fans, you know, tend to dislike him for his, uh, his array of physicality. And for good reason, I would say. But. Like him, hate him, you got to respect the game. You got to respect the game. I mean, 37 points, he shot the lights out, and he shot the lights out against some really good defense from yeah. Michigan State as well. So I thought that Grayson Allen, just the best player on the court by far tonight. Right. And uh, he's deserving of all the accolades. Really a solid player and a great player for Coach K. And you talk about Michigan State's defense that Grayson Allen just carved up time after time, possession after possession. How about Duke's defense? I mean, they threw Michigan State fits. Started out with a 2-3 zone, went to a 3-2 zone. Everything and anything in between, it seemed like Michigan State could never really get a grasp on how to break that defense and break that zone. And that was a big reason why Michigan State did not come out on top. Cassius Winston, Tom Tom Naren, whoever was running the point, they tried to get things going down the lane, inside, outside. Talked to Cassius Winston after the game. He tried to get things going on the baseline, tried to get things going in the middle. Nothing was working for the Spartans tonight, and I think it was a microcosm of the 2-3 zone. You got that right, and the zone defense, uh, Michigan State did prepare for it, but they didn't expect Duke to play it the entire game. Yeah, and which they did. They did, and Tom Izzo was hoping that Michigan State could get out to a lead a yeah. little bit to break apart that zone. But Davey, I mean, they really couldn't get a lead much larger than four. Michigan, that was Michigan State's largest lead in this game. And they were down by double digits at a point in the game. So they crawled their way back. But that zone, it just bit them every time. It did. And it, you got to give a testament to Coach K uh, for recruiting length to that zone defense. Uh, that's what made it so great. Now, Michigan State, a decent shooting team. We haven't seen it so far this season. But I think that later on this season, we will see them shoot over a lot of defenses like that. But uh, the length on Duke's roster made it so difficult to get into those passing yeah. lanes, which are there, especially with smart players like Cassius Winston, mm -hmm. Tum Tum Nair, and Miles Bridges. Those guys just had trouble uh, getting those passing lanes going. 17 turnovers for Michigan State yep. in the game. That ended up being a big problem. Another problem was the lack of rebounding. Get this. Duke, 25 offensive rebounds. Not defensive. Not total. Offensive. Now, Tom Izzo was not a happy camper when it came no. to that statistic. I think he said that if you told him that a team would get 25 offensive rebounds against one of his teams, you'd call him crazy. I mean, 25 offensive boards from Duke against Michigan State. You talk about Grayson Allen. You talk about the turnovers. You talk about the zone. But if you give up 25 offensive boards, you could throw all that out the window because you ain't going to win very much basketball. Exactly. And that's really, I mean, Tom Izzo said he was embarrassed. Yeah. You know, that's, that is... A word that I'm sure he doesn't throw around yeah. very often. Uh, embarrassed that his program gave up 25 offensive rebounds. Got out-rebounded by double digits in, by, uh, against Duke. The entire game, Duke just crashed the boards and knew what they were doing out there. And uh, they got the second chance opportunities, which ended up, I think, being the ultimate deciding factor in the game tonight. So as Ryan said, Michigan State falls to the Duke Blue Devils here at United Center by a score of 88-81. to Grayson Allen stole the show. Duke Blue Devils defense in the zone stole the show. And I think that about wraps things up because, I, as you can see behind us, the United Center is setting up for the Blackhawks hockey game. I don't know when they play, but clearly they're playing soon. They're taking apart the court, so I think that's our cue to leave. 
So for Ryan Cole, I'm Davey Siegel. Thanks so much for following along today with our coverage from the United Center. Be sure to follow along with us on Twitter and be sure to tune into the Impact Is Own podcast. Got a nice car podcast coming tomorrow on the way back to East Lansing. Good one, good one. So we'll see you then. Hope you listen in and thanks for watching.